Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the Premier League Team of the Year. Yeah, so as the season's coming to a close, the PFA team has been released for the year. And we just kind of want to get the fans' own um, judgment on the team and, and who should be in the team. Yeah, so uh, we'll kick it off anyway with goalkeepers. So uh, every every uh, we're going to have a video for every position uh, going forward. So we're going to start with the goalies. And we're going to give our top five picks of the keepers from this season that we think. But if you have any other opinions on it, please let us know in the comments below. But also we want you guys to vote uh, for the keepers that we've picked or your own keeper. So anyway, we'll we'll we'll, we'll start off with uh, De Gea was 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 the pick for the for the PFA team of the year. De Gea, yeah, De Gea was the, the, the pick for the, the team. Um, in my opinion, I don't know now. I don't know if he was the the best keeper. Yeah, yeah. I mean, United you know, didn't really have the best of seasons. Uh, you know, well, they saying are, that they still might win the Europa League, but they have the worst unbeaten run in the I suppose in Premier League history, don't they? At the minute, he has but, done well. Like he's fourteen clean sheets, but. Uh, I just don't know if he's if he's the one. Like if you look through the other top keepers there. Yeah, I mean ability wise, I would say he is the best, but I just don't think he's been the best this season. No, I do I completely agree. Um, with yourself there, if you look in terms of we had like there's Larice Courtois, two lads, you know, challenging the top, yeah, top, yeah. two top clean sheets kept for the season. There may be more, more, more my pick, but then again, if you yeah. look down towards the, the mid table and towards the well, end, there's, there's not much difference if you if you look at the if you look at the uh, Larice and and Courtois. I mean, fifteen clean sheets for Larice, seventy saves made, and then you look at uh, Courtois, who's got sixty four saves made and fourteen clean sheets. So there's not there's not too much separating them. No, no, they're quite close. The other thing though, where Chelsea have leaked quite a few goals compared to the likes of De Gea or Larice. Um, so that, that's where you can kind of pull the guy back into an argument. Yeah, as far as as far as kind of lower case teams, I don't really think they get a, a fair a fair look. They don't. When you look at the shots raining down on them, like you look at Tom Heaton there. Tom Heaton has one hundred thirty six saves made this season, which is which is nearly double. Yeah, and, and, and ten clean Larice. sheets. So he's five off Larice. Like yeah. um, for Burnley, that's th that's some some good going. Another notable mentions will be Jakubovic. Um, yeah, well, um, Fraser Force I think deserves a mention. He's at twelve clean sheets, sixty-three saves made. Uh, although, but he's had leaky moments, like where he's like clearing the ball and he's letting players come in and, and he's slipping and, and people are scoring on him. He has he, that English number one in him. He's uh, he's, he's got that chance with England, and since then he looked solid. Before then, everyone was wondering why he's not getting ahead of Joe Hart. Yeah, and he got in and he has looked a bit leaky over the course of the year, but. Again, Southampton as well as a whole have looked le a bit leaky. He just looks like he's dropped down a level. He wa he looked like he was gonna be one one of, one of the keepers pushing on. Yeah. But uh, he seems to just and it, like he is in a top five keepers uh, top five of, of the season yeah. anyway. But he'd be my last pick out of all them. Yeah, I I, I think. And obviously with De Gea, we'll, we'll obviously have to have him in there because. He's got six, 68 saves made, 14 clean sheets, well, more saves than Courtois, and the same amount of clean sheets. Yeah. What do you think? Who, who will be your, if you had to pick one out of that, that five? Larice, Courtois, De Gea, Forrester, Heaton, who would you pick? Tom Heaton. Tom Heaton. I'm going to stick with, uh, I think, I think, possibly Courtois. I think he's had some big moments, won the league for them. Um, for me, I think it might be. Courtois? Courtois, yeah. The race, well, I, I should go with my heart, but I think Courtois has been yeah. a big I, factor in that that league win. So I think I think I'll go with him. I think I think that they should be done at the end of the season. Though. They shouldn't be done. Yeah, with, with the they six should games be done with the seasons done and dusted. Like these are the stats that are currently like that. They might change before yeah, the end of the season. You know, do you know yeah, what I mean? A few, few slippy moments. Um, as far as like he could put put in some honorable mentions, like ability wise, Peter Cech, and then there's Mingale. And all these players, but they just they haven't uh, performed as as well as these keepers. Mignolet, and Ch Arsenal have had a dreadful season by their standards. Yeah, Mignolet, in fairness to him, has had quite an improvement this season. I saw a thing on his aerial duels. They're higher than ever been. Mm -hmm. he's, he's done better than the last two seasons put together this season. So he is a mention. Czech Arsenal haven't been great. Um, yeah. Then around the bottom, Jordan Pickford definitely deserves a mention. Uh, uh, Joel Robles. I mean, he he had a decent spell when he came in after Christmas, but in the last uh, in the last. Three games before he got pulled for Stecklenburg, he was just doing silly things. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think I don't think I have any Everton keeper, especially after that bogey Stecklenburg save against Chelsea, to have to throw straight into to, to Gary Cahill's yeah. path. I don't think that they totally. We need a new goalie. Um, but, but that's a story for a different day. But yeah, no, I think I think yeah, Pickford, Jakubovic down the bottom, 
Um, Foster, Heaton, they're definitely the ones that deserve a mention. I think yeah. that's kind of it. But I, I'm going to go with Courtois. You. Okay, I'm going to go for Tom Heaton. But out of the list, guys, if you guys could comment and help us pick the team of the year, that'd be great. Uh, and, and if there's a keeper that we, we left out, like I, um, Arthur Boric also had a very good season for Bournemouth. Um, and been re- rewarded with a new contract. But if you feel like you uh, would like to to comment and uh, let us know your opinions in the comments below. Yeah, we want, we want you to vote. We want this to be the fans' team of the season. Um, so, yeah, leave your comments below. Say who you want to you want to vote for. And if there we is... don't want Hugo Lloris or Courtois. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, Courtois, we don't. But yeah, no, leave, the, leave your comments below. Say who they are. Let us know. Um, and if we, again, if it is outside those five, there are five picks that we, we kind of brainstorm through. But, you know, you know it doesn't have to Fact, be there. Factually, they've been the best five. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let us know. Don't forget to hit that uh, like button and subscribe as well. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. See you in the next one.